What is the crack lads and welcome back to another top 10 list. Today we're taking a look at the top 10 players under 50,000 GP. So this is kind of a difficult one because we do have a couple of rules for this series. If you've checked, if you haven't missed, oh my god man, I can't even speak. If you haven't checked out or you have missed the last episode that we did, which was players under 25,000 GP, check that out. So these are players between 25,000 and 50,000 GP. There are a couple of beasts in here, but it is quite difficult as well because I've tried to stick to players that can make an impact off the bench. If you are starting off and you're a newcomer to the to the game, to eFootball23, and you've downloaded it and you're giving it a go, a lot of these guys are kind of work in progress players that you buy them, you train them up, you max them out, you put in a lot of time and grind, a lot of uh, progression points with them and train them up. We're going to be taking a look at that in a second. Um, but yeah, a lot of them won't be end game players. They're just kind of guys that can come in off the bench as super subs or they've got really good player skills and a low cost to buy for gp and they can be trained up into like 85 to 90 rated players so yeah we're going to be starting off with uh one of the main guys for this one which is going to be timber now this guy is an absolute monster lads he's so good i think he was one of the best players in the game when he football 22 came out i'd say 90 percent of people that downloaded the game and played dream team have got or have bought timber and there's good reason for that right he's usually up uh, with a B rating or an A rating because he plays for Ajax and they're always winning their games in their league which ties in nicely to the live update he's also got insane player skills you've got one touch pass interception and blocker as well as acrobatic clearance sliding tackle and fighting spirit he's also got unwavering form as well as a high speed acceleration and uh, tackling kind of stats that you do need to have as a center back now timber isn't going to be like your be-all or end-all centre-back. You do need to pair him with a fairly tall uh, guy that can win headers. Timber is more kind of like a guy that can uh, do it on the ground or whatever. All right, so when we see Timber here maxed out, you're going to have 88 speed, 86 acceleration. You're also going to have 80 defensive awareness. Tackling aggression and engagement are really high as well. His passing is quite decent, but it is those player skills and that speed that you're going to be looking at as the main keys to this card. Moving on, we have also got... This guy, Oraum, who is a left back. Now, he has got no club in the game as of now. Um, so, yeah, the, the team that he's with aren't in the game. I think he's with Leipzig, as far as I know. Could be wrong. But again, this guy's got some really good player skills. Sliding tackle, early cross, pinpoint crossing, pinpoint crossing weighted pass. And then he's also got speeding bullet. He's got 88 acceleration. His defense is quite decent as well for a left back. You are going to be playing him as more of a kind of a crosser. Um, and as you see there, he's got 76 progression points as well, which is quite decent to be fair. All right, so next up, lads, we do have Adrian Lafont, who comes in at around 29,000 GP, as you can see there. He's a goalkeeper that we have on this list. A lot of people rate him very highly. He is a hidden gem. He was absolutely amazing at the start. Now, this guy does not have unwavering form. But I did include him because he definitely plays way above his stats. Like he plays way above his stats. And he does have that main stat of 91 goalkeeper reflexes. Which is what you really kind of need for your uh, for your goalkeepers. Moving on, we also have another centre back, Orban. So he joins Timber. He's 34,000, the Hungarian. He plays for the Hungary national team. He doesn't have a club in the game. But this guy is very very good as well he's very similar in ways i think to a lot of the kind of meta center backs because he does have blocker he does have interception he has man marking he has aerial superiority and fighting spirit he's good in the air he's good on the ground he's able to like play out from the back and he's very aggressive when he gets the ball at his feet as well he's able to push forward so again the player skills is what you're really looking at there as well as the unwavering form because you do want to get that unwavering form these guys a lot of these guys are going to be backup squad members uh, before you get on and spend a bit more money on the other guys also on the list we have Onuachu who plays for uh, Genk I think in the Belgian league 88 overall as a center forward this guy's a he's just a towering monster man he's a plain uh, plain stylist target man he's on good form consistently he does have unwavering form as well he's got heading as a player skill he's got heel trick he's got scissors feint he's got double touch acrobatic finishing and the guy is a giant he's one of the tallest players in the game 94 heading 82 finishing 75 speed 94 physical contact insane as well this guy scored a hat-trick against me one time i think like way back when 
Um, and I had to look him up and see who he was because he was a monster. And uh, yeah, he. I don't usually come up against him, but I, I guarantee if you bring on somebody like this in the second half and he's in top form, you will cause a lot of problems if you play a lot of crossing and a lot of balls into the box. Now, lads, no list would be complete without one of my favourite players ever in eFootball, Corona. This guy, I bought him on a whim way back when eFootball 2022 first launched. He's just unreal, man. If you're looking for a player that plays above his stats, that can play multiple positions, you can see there, he can literally play right back, all the way to right midfield, right wing, centre forward, SS, left wing and left midfielder. He can play anywhere that you want. And when we train him up, we'll see in a second, he's got AI playing style, uh, pretty much everything that you could possibly want. He's good on the ball. He's good to pass the ball. He's good and fast. He's defensive when you need him to be defensive if you want to train him for that. You've got all the player skills that you want as well as one touch pass, through passing and pinpoint crossing. He is one of the hidden gems of the whole game, in my opinion. He's absolutely unbelievable. He's been amazing for me as well. When he's maxed out, he goes to an 88 overall as a right midfielder and an 86 as a winger, 83 as a defensive right back as well. And as I said, he can play pretty much any position attacking the pitch. Uh, if you want to play him as a right back, you can just boost up his defense a little bit as well. But for 34,000 GP lads, you cannot go wrong with him. Next up, we have got Andres Iniesta. This guy needs no introduction. One of the best players in the card in the in the game. One of the best cards in the game. His standard version is a whopping 32,000 GP, which is literally nothing. Like absolutely nothing. Um, 90 ball control, 91 low pass, 80 kick and power, 87 balance. His speed and acceleration, lads, trust me. Just play with him. Just play with Iniesta. You do not need his passing stats. Do pay no heed to him. He plays like an 82, 83 acceleration guy. Trust me on that because he's small. He's got he's really low uh, to the ground. He's really like light as well. And he's just Iniesta, man. He just has that player ID that can just absolutely dominate a lot of play positions and a lot of players. So definitely check out Andres. We've also got Kamara. Now, a lot of people will say, where's Gravenberch, right? Gravenberch, I have left him out. Because this guy, I think, does everything that Gravenberch does. And you can train him in different ways. Plus, he also has got unwavering form. He's got interception. He's got fighting spirit. And as a DMF, CMF, kind of a defensive-minded player, box-to-box -box or anchorman, I think Kamara is actually better. Gravenberch is still, I think, he's not as good as Jude Bellingham or Camavinga or one of those guys, Luis Alberto, that can kind of like dominate midfield for quite cheap, like for around 100,000k or Pedri even. Um, and then you've got the upper echelon of players like Goretzka and players like that. But this guy does it all, man. Like, look at his speed, right? 74 speed, 72 acceleration. Defensive awareness is solid. Ball control is solid. Low pass and lofted pass are really solid as well. He's got interception, aerial superiority, and he can play center back as well as left or right back as well. So yeah, he's definitely worth it for 47,000 right above uh, that one as well, just as we come up to the 50,000 mark. All right, let's up next as the guy in the thumbnail shows, Alessandro Martinez. And this guy, again, is an absolute monster. 47,000 GP, as you can see here. He goes 29 levels. He's only 23 years of age. People forget how young he is, I think, because he's having such a good season with United. And obviously, I am a little bit biased because I'm a United fan as well. But this guy's player skills, lads, are top of the pops, right? This is what you need. One touch pass, way to pass, low lofted pass, right? So he can play it out from the back. He's a smaller base player. I would definitely prefer him to Timber because of his defensive awareness and he's able to play the ball out. Obviously, Timber is just a speed freak at the back. Man marking, interception and blocker, sliding tackle and fighting spirit, unwavering form. And he's more up than not as well with the player rating or the live update rating as well. Now look at what he we look at what we what his stats go to when we max him out, right? So 29 levels, as you see there. And then obviously we get those progression points in. He's got a build-up play style as well. 90 aggression, 76 acceleration and speed. And then the rest of his tackling stats and engagement and awareness are really high as well. But it is the player skills for that price point. You are not going to get a better defender. Obviously, he's a bit small, so you need to pair him with a big, tall center back. We've also got this guy, Poulsen. So the next two players, we've got one kind of like really um, kind of like special selection here. Poulsen is only 32,000 GP. He plays with Den Denmark. He doesn't have a club in the game. He plays with Leipzig in real life. His speed is really high. His header is really high. His finishing is quite good at 79. And then his jump, his stamina, everything is fairly decent. But again, this guy is a super sub. And this ties into the last player on the list as well as a super sub. You can see there that he's just got insane ability as a super sub. He's also got unwavering form. 
Now, lads, last but not least, we've got two special selections here for you, right? So the first one is Dan James, who is on loan at Fulham at the moment. Super sub. He goes to incredible speed, right? If you're looking for a super sub that can just absolutely dominate when you bring him on after the 78 minute or something like that, you will see his stats here, lads. Absolutely insane. 95 speed, 97 acceleration, and 86 dribbling. He's only 18,000 GP. And he does have that super sub player skill as well. And then if you are looking for a more traditional uh, winger, one of the best wingers in the game, obviously plays as a deep line forward, but for 47,000 GP, you have got Maximin, who is insane. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 dribbling. So that trifecta of golden trinity of stats, lads, is what you need. Now, I didn't include him as like... An individual one because obviously him and Dan James they're both of a mix if you're looking for a super sub go Dan James for pure speed and dribbling and trickery and if you're looking for a starter Maximin is the guy to go to because he is so good so that is it lads for another video on this I hope you guys are enjoying it trying to mix it up a little bit with content let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these videos and any suggestions you have let me know I will talk to you later peace